Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, up next for the uh, Build for Others, a 132nd scale Ultimate Soldiers uh, ME109 uh, repaint. And uh, I'm going to repaint this the same, but different. And uh, a couple of uh, disclaimers. Uh, number one, I do build for others, and uh, but I've had to scale back on it uh, due to time restraints. But occasionally I will... Uh, do one for uh, somebody and I also like to uh, film my work so you can actually see it it's better than taking pictures of the build as pictures sometimes lie videos it's a little more clear and uh, you can see the process from start to finish and I like to video my work when I build for others uh, also a second one just a minor one uh, since I build for other people I don't do any research uh, they just give me a picture of what it, they want it to look like. They supply the decals and uh, I go from there. I don't, I don't correct nothing. Uh, I do what the uh, kit has and uh, go on for it. So with that being said, if you've never seen the uh, Ultimate Soldier uh, 30 second scale stuff, they did tanks, planes, figures, and they're really, they're, they were really nice. Uh, if you really didn't uh, get into 30 second scale model kits these were a way to jump into it i thought they can always be repainted and uh i thought they really were excellent excellent uh, uh toys slash uh model kits yeah you can get different they were also the king of variations you could get every paint scheme you wanted that they really used the mold and a lot of deco on it so uh where are we at i'll show this one uh, that's the plane that it uh, comes in. Uh, that color scheme, again, uh, I won't even pronounce his name. That gentleman right there, that was his plane, his markings. Uh, I am going to repaint it into... This is decals from Kits World. Uh, we're going to repaint it into... Uh, Franz Stigler's uh, airplane, I assume. So, put my notes back on there. So you get the plane. It basically comes in a couple of pieces. Uh, you got to you got to uh, put the uh, the wing on. It just goes on with a uh, screw, and you got to put on the little fine uh, details on it, uh, like the bomb. And if you've seen the bomb, it's already got the uh, markings. Now, some things like this I won't repaint or touch because uh, it's pretty much the same color and it's already got the uh, markings on it don't need to touch it uh, but other than that uh, it's ready to uh, got it assembled and uh, if you never repainted a toy one thing you have to do and it's my uh, you can't just actually rip it out of the box start putting primer on paint it because if you uh, if you ever really notice and I did this just for show and tell here uh, I put a little bit of primer on the uh, back here and you start seeing the markings. The markings always want to go through. Now it's really easy. You can take sandpaper and sand everything. Uh, what I do is I like to, uh, I don't really sand. I take a, uh, I don't have it, it's at the sink. Uh, I take a, uh, a foam uh, wash uh, scrubber and uh, what I do is I'll take it in the sink and I'll scrub it like that. And uh, it gets all the uh, uh, any plastic mold release, and it also uh, will scour up the uh, printed on markings, and then you can go on and uh, repaint it. This thing's going to be repainted, uh, uh, and I wanted to show this first. It's going to re. I'm going to again. I don't like to bore everyone. It's going to be painted uh, all flat black, and that'll be for the uh, panel lines and uh, a little bit of uh, shading. And then uh, once that dries, which will take a couple days, and then we can go into uh, uh, detail painting, which is going to be painted like this, but just a tad bit different uh, is the best way that I can explain it. So first thing I did is uh, I did wash it. I haven't scrubbed everything because I wanted to show what that looks like on the uh, if you ever repaint toys <clears throat> I did first thing I do is uh, I like to uh, get the masking done out of the way because it's time-consuming and that's the one of the crucial parts on the canopy uh, so two deals of Tamiya tape different sizes and a sharp 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 
hobby knife and uh, get that all cut in. And a uh, canopy does work. And I was told that they wanted all the uh, things to work, landing gears, you know, propeller, all that. Even the uh, uh, pilot, which uh, the pilot cannot move his head. It's uh, stationed in that position. Uh, but not too bad. The uh, interior is painted. I don't know if you can see it. Uh, but it's these uh, kits are done really well. I mean, you can uh, modify them for modeling purposes. So I did get the uh, canopy all masked. And uh, I, don't know, I do. You have to excuse. This is going to be a pencil. Uh, I do like to take a pencil. And I like to burnish the uh, tape down. Uh, it makes it where the paint won't seep in. It's just another uh, precaution I like to take on it. But anyway, other than that, uh, I'm going to paint this uh, all black. And then uh, we'll start painting it within a few days. Uh, probably mask off a couple more things. Maybe the propellers. Because it does have a uh, white does have a white nose on it. And uh, whatever. I think the uh, rest of it is just uh, pretty... I call it a Luftwaffe uh, three-tone uh, camo. And the best thing that I have found, and uh, especially in uh, airplane, especially 109s, is the Vallejo set here. This has all the RLM colors uh, that basically these are painted in. And uh, this is usually what I paint all uh, uh, Luftwaffe jets of that era with this set it's a invaluable set because it just has all the colors and i know Vallejo has it i assume mig ammo mig and uh, ak have a s similar set uh but this is one i'm going to be using to repaint the uh 109 into uh the other version but anyway ladies and gentlemen that's uh what i have got going on today first part of uh, repainting a uh, 109. So that's what we got going on today. Stay tuned for the next exciting uh, episode.